happy Saturday. Um, I'm going to be working on a 20, uh, 20 by 24 inch canvas. My colors are Permanent Violet Dark by Golden. I'm using Fire Opal and it's the original Fire Opal by Folk Art. So I've got that mixed up. I have a cadmium yellow light hue and a little bit of the deep yellow mixed in with it. I have Bordeaux Red by Arteza. I love this color, so that is ready to go. Deep Turquoise or Turquoise Deep. Let me see. Turquoise Deep by Modern Masters. And I've got Prussian blue with some metallic navy in it. And it's really, really thick. So I actually may, let me see here, add just a smidge of water to it because it's super, super thick. So anywho, and I've got my white, which is two parts Floetrol with one part uh, Artist Loft Flow White Acrylic, and then I added some satin enamel to it. So we are going to see what can be created today. Today is my birthday, and I'm super excited. I'm going to have my family come over later. Um, not necessarily, you know, try to social distance, of course. Um, my partner, Mike, his birthday was yesterday. We are 12 hours apart. Um, same year and everything. So he is technically still older than me. Um, <laughs> and I also am excited because I'm cresting 60,000 subscribers, which um, makes me really, really happy and I'm super appreciative to all my fans. And uh, if I reach 60,000 subscribers today, uh, we'll do, or this weekend, we will do a um, 60,000K giveaway. Um, so if you have subscribed in the past, just double check that you're still subscribed because sometimes YouTube will create um, or redo their algorithms and then people get unsubscribed and they don't realize it. And um, But if you are subscribed, I thank you. And if you aren't subscribed, uh, consider subscribing. It's free. Um, and go from there. I also have DecoArts Extreme Sheen 24K Gold. So we're going to start by layering my cup here with some white. I'm going to do a little bit of gold, like literally a drop. And then I'm going to do the yellow. I'm going to try and layer somewhat quickly so that we don't waste all your precious time. I really appreciate all of your views. And I know this can be the most tedious part of a pour. And for those that are watching, you just you know, if you know how I pour, then you know that, well, whatever. Um, layering the cup is almost like a science <laughs> sometimes. So um, let me get in here one more time with the layered yellow next to some white. I'm going to put in some more gold. A lot of white at the base of that, so we'll see if I'll have to pour again. Okay, so let's do some, actually let's do some of the deep turquoise right here next to some gold because I think it'll be okay. I'm just sort of talking through it at this point. And a little more gold there some Prussian blue with the metallic navy. A 
And the violet. Bordeaux red and a little more of this and a little more of that now let me see here and so we're gonna my daughter and I are gonna go get our nails done and then we're gonna have family over and do a nice fire because we haven't really gotten a chance to do that this year with all the COVID and it's beautiful weather out there. It's 60 degrees, sunny, and that makes me happy. So, all right, so we're gonna put our puddle right here. I did just mix up my paints, so I will definitely need my torch. And we'll see how it goes. Grab some paper towel because it's always a mess. So, thank you all so much for joining me here today. I'm just gonna do The rest of the gold because it's like running out. And we're just gonna do a straight pour. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is just leave it up like that. You can get a stick to clean it out. I'll just use the gold one because it's empty. sort of want to wreck it. Ah. Yes, I'm going to. I got to. And I think we'll just start with that. Put in the white around it. I see some cells popping up here. Lots of air bubbles. <laughs> and the good thing is, if this doesn't work out, I have plenty of paint mixed up to do another pour after that. if I don't like it. So we are going to spread out a little bit of this. Um, so one of my best friends showed up. Her birthday was in May and right in the full swing of this COVID stuff. So we were all very much social distancing. And I wanted to make her birthday special, but I also was going through a very difficult time 
as I was um, just diagnosed with this mass. Um, and I needed something that was going to make me smile and happy and I needed to do something silly because that's just my personality. Um, I'm just gonna put some flow extender around here. Um, so I decided, cause we were gonna do a parade um, a birthday parade for her. And I decided, well, we're going to make it a special birthday parade. So I'm going to, uh, go buy one of those inflatable, um, Tyrannosaurus Rex costumes. <laughs> and I'm going to go to the parade in this. And, you know, we were all doing the car, the car parade. Um, and her fiance knew we were going to be doing it. So he had her ready outside and everybody put me, um, we got into this costume and so we decided that I would lead the parade. So I was walking down the street in this inflatable T-Rex costume. Sorry, I'm sort of off camera. You guys can't see what's going on. It's beautiful. Um, I was in this, you know, so leading the parade, going down the street and she is laughing and she knows me so well because if I could wear flip flops year round, I would. And I knew as we were on our way there, I was like, I should have put on my sneakers because this costume is not the easiest thing to trek around in and you can't breathe inside of it because it's so hot. Um, and there's only this little area window that you can look out of. So here I am trekking down her street leading this bandwagon of the birthday decorated vehicles. And I'm this silly Tyrannosaurus Rex. And she starts laughing and they're videoing it down on her end. Her fiance is videoing it. And she, her first words were, she said, oh my gosh, is that Sarah in the T-Rex suit? She's wearing flip flops. <laughs> so the darn flip flops gave it away. But she knows I'm silly like that and I do those kinds of things because I want her to be happy and I want everybody to be happy. So I do crazy things. Um, and so it was a dead giveaway, those darn flip flops. So today she came to visit me. She and her fiance showed up and called me and said, what are you doing? And I said, mix and paint. I got to paint because uh, I need to put something on YouTube eventually. And she's like, well, come on outside. So I go outside and there they are, she and her fiance, with a big cake in hand. Um, and then also had this, it's not a, it's a triceratops, I think it is, <laughs> balloon. She said, I couldn't, I couldn't get into a T-Rex costume if I tried, and I certainly don't have one. She's like, so I hope this is good enough. So it was just super, super cute. Um, and then, you know, brought, brought a bag of goodies. Um, for Mike and I to enjoy this evening at our at our shindig. So I I just she's so funny. Um, we had friends stop by last night to have dinner with us, and they brought cake. So here I am now, three cakes deep, because we had bought a cake too for our families um, who are coming over today. Um, so we're gonna be eating cake for breakfast and whatever, whatever else. I love this. So I, I've been slightly paying attention to the composition, but I'm just flapping my mouth here. But I'm really excited that you guys are here viewing me. And you know, uh, even if you don't subscribe, if you give a thumbs up or just leave an emoji for a comment, I mean, you really don't have to put much thought into it. I just love you all for joining me on this journey. Um, I just passed two years on YouTube um, last month and I would be super appreciative that if you aren't a subscriber, if you could please subscribe and help me reach 60,000 on my birthday. Um, share my videos, you can leave comments, you can ask me questions. 
I try to answer them all in a timely fashion, but uh, you guys are great and I want to say thank you. And if we get to 50,000 this weekend, we'll do 50K giveaway, depending on when we reach the 50K, I'll still do it no matter what. Um, as a thank you to you all who have been, I don't know, like my lifeline on YouTube. And I really appreciate all of you and all the wonderful things you have said in support of my work, etc., etc. Just get in the corners. The corners are so important. Got to get those corners. All right, so yeah, that's all I know. I'm gonna bring you guys in. I'm really loving this piece, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here we are. Loving this area. Right into the violet. I love this piece. It's like a uh, tropical whatever. <laughs> but I love all of this they look like tropical leaves or funky feathers and the glow in the center is amazing the cells are still developing so that's a really nice bonus but um there it is what do you guys think if only that light was really the sun you know oh which way would we go we'd go this way maybe maybe not anywho Thank you so much for all of your supportive words, watching my uh, videos, sharing them. I really appreciate all. All right, I'm off to celebrate the birthday. You guys have a great day. Bye.